Hey, what's up everybody? Caleb with Black Pearl Media and I am going to go scrapping and I brought a friend. My dad. Hello. <laughs> um, so we're actually going to go pick up some scrap at a friend's house. They had a bunch of stuff and they gave us a call. So um, we're going to go pick it up. Uh, on a side note, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and uh, we'll get right to it. I All right. Ah, oh, not bad, not bad. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> All right. So, what do we got going on here? What's staying? Anything. What's going? Everything goes. Everything goes. Okay. So, if you don't want it, just say so. And All right. Just put it off to the side, and it'll go up to the dump. All right. Sounds good. Uh, I can probably make a pretty good dent in it. American Heart Association. Yep, I can go. All right. All right, we're getting quite cold now. Yep. There's always more room. Yeah, I guess I don't want to lose anything. Yeah, no. We had gotten that sign. Well, it was a realtor sign. Yeah. 
Changed it over. <laughs> uh, pot. See if you can pull that stove forward a little bit. Let's see if we can lay it across. Or yeah, dude. There we go. We can probably lay it across there. I got side mirrors. Look at the size of them. <laughs> That's the whole reason I got them. I got this one here for cutting. Oh, no, wait a minute, a door. there you go. So, all right, so the baskets I'm not gonna take because they're really bulky and they're light steel. I probably get two pennies for them. How much? Yeah, it's really, really cheap for light steel. But heavy steel, still like four, three or four cents a pound. And it's worth it because they're smaller pieces and they weigh more, so. Yeah. Think you can cut this one up for me? My man. So what is, what is the here, Dave? Just a pile of dirt. It's a pile of dirt. That's yeah. all it is. Oh, okay. The uh I have a little problem with water in the house. Yeah. And the um when I built the shed, I ran a piece of drain pipe out of the side of the house and down across in front of the shed. Yeah, yeah. And along with that, I ran electric. Yeah. Ooh. But there's no kit here. So all I did was uh, I needed to pick, I needed to place the, get the, the Works, it works. Hey, do you need me to hold that or are you okay? I'm okay. All right. Sure. 
What, what's that thing? It, it's, it's, uh, it's plum or a uh, plumber's pipe. Yeah. It's a big piece. Did you have it running somewhere for your house? What's that? It's a pretty long piece. Did you have it running somewhere for your house or something? Or? I don't know. Huh. Don't even know where it came from. <laughs> you done with this motor? Yep. Good, good. I think you pay separately for the motors. It's heavy piece. Woo! Uh -oh. I think I broke it. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's it. Well, good thing it didn't hurt you. <laughs> That's <was> good. <laughs> Jordan broke one once. Piece went up and hit him in the forehead. Oh, jeez. Yeah, split his That's forehead cool. a little bit. Yeah. He's fine. Tough kid. Are these things going under here too, Kale, with these plates? I think so, yeah. Just watch your knees. I don't know if there's any, um, I don't know if there's any nails coming out of the board. You know what I mean? Yep. And let's do something with, oh, that motor too. I don't know if you can pull that just yeah. so I can, those are heavy. I'll take them. I got it. I got it. I'll grab that in a second. A couple of motors. It's tough because I'll have to I'm gonna have to sort it all. It's a lot to sort. Because you can't sort when you're on site. They don't like that because it takes too long. Yeah. So. Well, if you sort, sort in the driveway. Don't sort on my lawn. Yeah. Here, I'll put this inside. No, uh, don't. No? No, it's gonna fall over the place. Well, all right, yeah, you can put it inside. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Damn. <laughs> close, close. I might be able to bend it. Hold on. I might be able to bend it over the, the hitch and get it the rest of the way. There we go. Gonna be short enough. I don't know. We'll find out. That side came off. Save you. I've, I've got another wheel. I might be able to get it in sideways here. Yeah, a little bit too long. Yeah, we might have to grab it one more time if you don't mind. Copper. Be surprised. This this box of copper here. So you'd be surprised. This box of copper here, that'll be $20, $30. This is, what is that? Is that iron? Grab that magnet and put the, see the magnet right there? On the tailgate, here. Oh. Yeah, see if that's magnetic or not. Yep. All right, steel, that goes over there. Well, desk popper. It's a really nice uh, thing here. That's, uh... We should see if it'll let us uh, take a peek inside. Nice. You did it. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. How many lights? Here, I got you. Only three. <laughs> All right. I think I'm pretty much maxed out here. Oh, oh I can crush that up though. These ones get real tiny. Ugh, real tiny. So what's your plans for the rest of the days, guys? Uh, my brother's going down for dinner. That's nice. <laughs> last, last Saturday, you showed up on this motorcycle. 
Oh, yeah? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, good. He doesn't like to ride like we do, so. No? No, we're, we're well, our idea of, you know, you leave in the morning, come back in the afternoon. <laughs> Maybe the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, how are you guys feeling? Yeah, he, he likes those one hour trips. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back at the house and I got to go through the scrap. I've been going through it a little bit. I want to make heads or tails of it before I cash it in. So pretty much what I got worked out so far is most of the stuff in the middle here is aluminum. This is light steel. It's going to go on that side. Most of the heavy steels on this side. Uh, I got my wire and I resorted the um, uh, copper because there was some other uh, small little bins and bits so I put them all in one uh, spot so that'll be easier you don't want to do this on site guys it's like a really noob thing to do they don't like it takes up a lot of time um, and you uh, you you won't have a very friendly response to that um, so a lot of great stuff he gave me um, batteries motors heavy steel light steel the copper's amazing the uh, the wire and we're gonna go ahead and cash this in to see how much we get um, but just to let you guys know, if you guys are doing this um, and just doing it as a side income, uh, you know, take some pictures every once in a while. Put it on your social media. Just be like, hey, you know, if you guys got any scrap metal, uh, let me know. And sooner or later, people get the vibe that, you know, this is what you do every once in a while and they'll hit you up with stuff. So uh, my buddy Dave had a bunch of this scrap piling up behind his house. He didn't like it. Uh, it's sitting there. So he was going to take it to the dump. And that would have been uh, that would have been a trip for him. So I just went out, spent some quality time with my father, um, went and saw a friend of mine there, and uh, helped him out. And uh, gonna get a couple dollars out of it. Now, if I were to guess how much is here, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say sixty five dollars i'm gonna say 65 dollars in scrap so why don't you guys go down into the comments and uh pause the video put your guests in there and uh see see if you can beat me see who can get closer um but let's go ahead wrap this up and let's head over to the scrapyard all right so we're here we're doing the aluminum first Smokes soaked in here. Oh, man, pouring out there. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna put the window up this time. <laughs> Yeah, I really wish I had my gloves. I took them in to get washed and uh, forgot to put them back in my truck. I'm just gonna accept that I'm gonna be wet. That's just how it is, you know? That's how it's gotta be. 
trash. Dave, if you're watching this, sorry. Didn't want to use the uh, the grills, although it was extremely kind of you to offer. Different price for this. This thing's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. This is an oxygen tank from like a long, long, long time ago. As nice as it is to have a lot of scrap in the back of your truck and go for a cash out, I love when it's empty. All that crap from before. Light. Right, trash with trash. On top of trash. Outside of trash. Alright, now is this worth it? So he takes it in there and he does everything. Uh, and that's the whole coronavirus way right now, which is great. I think they're being safe and I think it's responsible. So. All right guys, we got the money here. I have not checked it yet. It's still all folded up. Um, now remember my guess was $65. So I hope you wrote your guess down in the comments. Um, but before I read this money, I need you to do me a big favor and just hit the subscribe button for me really quick. I do automotive content. I'm building a rear mount turbo system on my car and I do these side job videos where I do side hustles to make money to put into my hobbies. So that's kind of the structure uh, that I'm kind of going for here. So if you could go ahead, hit that subscribe button, maybe the bell to let you know when this is gonna happen. If you like these side hustle videos, more will be coming out in the future, but primarily it's gonna be like more automotive content. So if you like both, it's a win-win. So let's see how much money we made. So I guess $65, I see a couple 20s in here. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 110, 115, 120, 125, $125, you guys, that's awesome. So 125 bucks, let's see where most of that money came from really quick, we'll just do a review. Um, let's see, 
Uh, old sheet aluminum, I had 130 pounds of it at $19.50. The batteries were a big breadwinner, $33.30 for all the batteries. Um, let's see here. Um, we had heavy iron, uh, 16 bucks for all the heavy iron. Light iron, so all that light iron, like I tell you, it's it's worthless. It's I, I got a dollar and 20 cents for it, worthless, I'm telling you. Don't even waste your time with it. Um, the copper tubing also did really well, $31.25. And then there was uh, some wire that did pretty well as well, $11 for wire. And then there was some miscellaneous stuff. So um, yeah, 125 bucks, you guys, so not bad. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this $125 and put it towards the fabrication work I'm gonna be doing for my, uh, my build. And uh, I got this in the mail today. It's my scavenge pump so I can get oil from the front of the car to the back of the car, but we'll be covering that in another video. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.